Hi everyone, it's Eileen from Roblox Dolls, and today we're going to be doing a new and updated packing video. There are two more on the channel, but they're not that great because I made them quite a while ago, and one of them is just filmed on my tablet, so it's not very good quality. And I thought I would do a newer one to show you how I can going to pack for the dolls. You can use these tips whether you're traveling by plane, car, boat, helicopter, walking, anything you want. And these are more geared towards if you're traveling like on a long trip for like a few days as well as opposed to just like a day trip. But you could alter these to do a day trip and I can do a separate video on how to pack for a day trip if you're interested in that. So I hope you enjoy and let's get started. The first step is to pick what doll you want to bring. I have all seven of my American Girls lined up here minus Venus because Venus actually hasn't arrived yet while I'm filming this. But I might have that video up before this one's up so if you're wondering why Venus isn't here that is why so we have Kirsten over here who would be quite a good choice actually to bring on the trip because she has hair that can be pulled back and it isn't curly so she'd be quite a nice doll to bring if you wanted so would Nikki because my Nikki has straight hair Cecile would probably not be a very good doll to bring because her hair requires a lot of maintenance to keep it flat and can get messed up pretty easily. Violet would be a good doll to bring because she has um, just like long but like straight hair so you can pull it back and not worry about it getting messed up. My Felicity is a pre-Mattel German Felicity so I wouldn't bring her with me plus her wig is actually not glued on right now. So I don't think I'd bring her because I'd be very sad if I lost her or her wig got damaged. Sage would be an okay doll to bring, but she does have hair that requires quite a bit of maintenance to keep it curly. So I don't think I will be bringing her. The last doll, Zyra, is a doll that I will be bringing on my trip, and I'm going to be bringing Venus with me as well. So I'm going to show you how I pack for two dolls in this video. But Venus isn't actually here yet, so that is why I'm not showing you her. Zyra is a good doll to bring because she has short hair that can be pulled back into pigtails if I want to. Zyra is actually an Ivy doll, by the way. And her hair is short enough that it won't get messed up, and she isn't an insanely valuable doll, so if for some reason she did get damaged, I could replace her fairly easily, even though I guess she is now retired. But it's not like Felicity that I'd be devastated if I lost her and wouldn't be able to find another one. Let's talk about the bags you're going to need to bring for your doll. I have some different options laid out here. If you're just going on a day trip or want to bring some little accessories for your doll, which is what I'm using mine for, you can bring a little bag, tote bag, or backpack, or even a little makeup bag, which is what I've used in the past. So this first one is from Claire's, and they don't make it anymore, so don't ask me where I got it, because I always get questions about the video. It came from Claire's. It's really cute. I know. They make a different one now. This one is for a phone or MP3 player or something, and it's not actually a backpack. It just looks like one. So... Yeah, that's what that's from. This first little trunk came from a garage sale, and if you want to just bring one suitcase for both your dolls, if you have, like, a little trunk or a little, like, mini makeup bag or something like that, that would work great, but I'm going to do separate suitcases. The two I'm going to be bringing is this one, which is from Our Generation, and it came from their travel set, which I cannot recommend enough. That's a great travel set. As well as this little American Girl suitcase. They make a different one now for the new girl of the year named Grace. But if you don't have that, then you can always use a pencil case, or as I said, a makeup bag would work just as well. The last thing you might want is a little smaller bag to put inside the suitcase if you want your doll to have toiletries for photos or something like that. So, choose your bags, and let's get started with what we're going to bring. We're going to start with the most important thing, which is the clothes. I actually have them in this trunk right now. So, the blue suitcase that is staying open, and the purple suitcase that is not staying open, the blue one belongs to Venus, and the purple one, that is the retired one from American Girl, is actually going to be Zyra's for this trip. So, the first thing that Venus is going to bring is this little pair of shorts that I actually made, and they are kind of like the little distressed shorts. They're not the best shorts I've ever made, but they look really cute when they're on the doll. So, Venus is going to be bringing those. For Zyra, Zyra is more of a dress kind of girl than Venus is. Venus is more of, um, doesn't really like dresses at all. 
So this dress is the Sweet School dress from American Girl that is now retired, but I got it for, um, I think, like, at the beginning of the school year. And I'm just going to put that in here for v or for Zyra's dress because we are going to Chicago and she will be going with us to the American Girl store to eat. So I thought that would be nice for her to bring. Zyra is also going to bring this little circle skirt that I've shown in a few of my other videos that I made. And it's just a really cute skirt that works well with a lot of the colors that Venus or that Zyra is going to be wearing on this trip. So I'm just going to place that in the suitcase. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to put the stuff in the suitcase yet. I'll just put it set it in front of the suitcases so you can see it. Next, we have this little shirt. This is like, I hope your Wi-Fi dies on it, and I thought that was kind of a funny little insult. So, I ironed that on there, and that's one of my handmade shirts, which there's a lot of them in this video. I think there's like six of them. Um, that is going to be for Venus. Zyra also has a little jean skirt that is adorable. This came with Madame Alexander Autumn Mist, who we call Nadria here. And that is going to go with a lot of her outfits. Venus is a very big Harry Potter fan, and actually so is Zyra, but Venus more so than Zyra. So she has this Hogwarts shirt that I made out of a recycled Hogwarts shirt, and this little skirt that came from a garage sale doll, and that fits nicely together and looks kind of like a school uniform, so I thought that'd be a cute outfit for her to wear. Then we have this volume shirt, which is Venus's, and this... Five Seconds of Summer shirt, both of those I also made, and those are both for Venus. This Starbucks shirt is for Zyra. This pineapple shirt is for Zyra. And finally, this Arizona iced tea shirt is also for Zyra. So I'm going to pack those up and fast forward it so you can see how everything fits. mention the reason I'm not bringing shoes is because both of the dolls are just going to be wearing the one pair of shoes they're bringing because they're boots and they'll go with a lot of things so that is why we're not going to be bringing that. I did mention in the beginning of the video this adorable little case that came with the Our Generation Well-Traveled Luggage Set and I'm just going to be bringing little toiletries just for photo opportunities. We have a little thing of shampoo and a little thing of conditioner. So those fit in here, right in the bottom. Then we have a little toothbrush and a little toothbrush holder, which I think is absolutely adorable. And that also fits in there nicely. A little thing of toothpaste to go with that. Some sunscreen, and I just had all this in here, so it has to fit. The little makeup thing that came with the Curly Q dresser from American Girl a long time ago. It's now retired. And you just zip that in here, hopefully. Maybe. There we go. So that is that, and I'm actually going to put that in Zyra's suitcase because it fits right in this little side pocket here. So that's everything that's going to go in the suitcases. The rest of it is going to go in their bags. So I'm going to zip up this suitcase, and you could actually fit a lot more in this if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. And then Venus's suitcase, which also you could fit a lot more into because it compresses everything quite nicely. So there's their two suitcases. They both have little luggage tags on it. Zyra's has her name on it. Venus's does not have her name on it yet. But I will be putting that on there. So let's continue with the video. For the backpack, this one with the owls on it is going to be Venus's backpack. And in here I have the little photo things that they're going to be bringing for just like average little travel things that a real person would bring on their trip. So I'm going to show you what I have in there. And then the other suitcase is actually going to hold the hair supplies and stuff like that for the trip. So I will show you that next. Let's get started with what's in this suitcase. In this backpack, I guess. They have this little thing of our generation candy, which came with the well-traveled set. And that has little gummy bears in it. They have a little passport, which you won't actually be needing on this trip, but it's so cute that I had to put it in there. They have another Our Generation thing, which is the little crackers packet. And the world map from Our Generation. And the boarding pass from Our Generation. Um, 
also won't be needing on this trip because we're taking a train to Chicago. But I thought that would be nice. She has this little travel journal, which I love. It's so cute. And I think I'm actually going to write stuff in there on this trip because I don't know when the next time I'll go on a trip is. Then we have this little cat pillow that, I swear to God, this all fits in the bag. I just got it out of there. And finally, we have the little gum packet. A little fake pen that goes with the journal. And there's actually nothing in the front pocket of the bag right now. So, yeah, I guess that's that. We also have a little iPhone. This is Venus's phone. Zyra's is pink, but she's not going to be bringing it, I guess. Then we have this camera that came with the Art Generation set. I love this camera so much. This belongs to Venus, because Venus is the photographer of the little family. And we have some sunglasses. So I'm going to be putting this all into the bag and showing you how everything fits. So that is how everything fits in this backpack, and now I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to be putting in the other backpack, which is the backpack that's going to be holding the hair supplies for this trip, which is very important because I want to be able to do her hair, their hair, while we're on the train. Actually, it's mostly going to be Venus's hair that I'll be doing because Zyra has quite short hair. So I have some white hair bands here that I'm going to put in this larger pocket in the bag and I also have some other colored ones that I'm just going to throw in there so we have some variety I guess quite a lot why not these are actually rainbow loom bands I've had a ton of them for when I used to make bracelets but I have so many left over I could do a bajillion doll hairstyles so I have that in there and I also have the little doll hair pick, which I can use on Venus's hair because Venus has slightly wavy hair, so sometimes I'll use that. And then the brush. I'm not sure if the brush is going to fit. Doesn't look like it. Ooh, maybe. If I press it in there enough. <laughs> it does. So the brush. So that is what they're going to be bringing in the two backpacks. So, thank you for watching, and there's one more super important thing I want to add, and that is to make sure, and this sounds so stupid, but I want to make sure that you know that your doll should be wearing shoes that do not fall off. I have lost so many doll shoes over the years because they've fallen off the dolls, and now I always make sure they're wearing ones like this, or boots, or something that is not going anywhere. So, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, I will see you all in the next video, and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and leave some video requests down below, because I love seeing what you guys want, and doing videos that you guys actually want to see. So, thanks for watching, bye!